under anaesthesia or associated with anaesthesia, we lose, by death, more horses than we do dogs, cats, and you'll be pleased to know also more than humans, where the death rate is the lowest. So the question is why? What's different about horses? The original big study of CPEF 2 was published in 2002 in Veterinary Anesthesia and Analgesia, the main veterinary anesthesia journal. And that reported a death rate in healthy horses um, undergoing surgery of nearly 1%. So one in a hundred horses would die because of the anesthesia, or maybe the surgery with it, but the whole process of anesthesia. So CPEF 4 is the new version of that data collection to see what has changed in that 20 years in between. There are 27 countries and 95 clinics all contributing from all around the world. The healthy horse death rate was nearly 1% with CPEF2 and we are now at 0.6. So this is, this is definitely an improvement. Another point about um, CPEF4 is the international collaboration and the, the, the very reason why I'm here in Valencia now. Lateral thinking that comes into a project that's got um, points of view from different places. We've all got the goal of improving equine anaesthesia, but we all approach it from a slightly different way. So I think that we should be trying to have a system that we use the, the model that we've got, the, the method that we've got to generate CPEF 5 data, CPEF 6 data and so on um, in order to continue to improve the quality and the safety of equine anaesthesia and to use it for teaching. So there's lots of potential. Um, and my feeling is it's definitely worthwhile. <laughs>